Hello, darlings! Today we check out the lunch buffet at a five star hotel in Manila. There will be steam, there will be crunch, and there might be too much dessert. OMG, hollow hollow with ube ice cream. Good morning from Manila. We are gonna go to the lunch buffet at Shangri La. Oh, I think our elevator is here. It's a little past 12, and we're hoping it's not too packed. At the lobby level is heat. And that's where the buffet is held, yo. Plenty of seating options. We must be early enough. It's nice and cool inside, but for filming purposes, we head outside for a quieter space. The lighting is much nicer here, and we have a view of the pool. Wow, it's definitely warm. Our table is freshly set. It's Wednesday as we film this. And these must be Filipino treats, happily chillaxing on banana leaves. Aha, fried banana rolls, which are called toron. According to this label, these sesame seeded rolls are sapin sapin. But Google shows me colorful layered cakes made with coconut when I search sapin sapin. Other treats include biko and puto. Please excuse any mispronunciation. Skewer carioca, kuchinta, and toppings for kuchinta. I don't know what you are, but I'ma get you. A chocolate fountain and pastel blue. What a relaxing color. Pizza, pasta, and Asian delights. The blue lights draw any diner's attention. The seafood section features prawns surrounded by black rocks, mussels, condiments, and more black rocks, crab, and rocks. A salad bar sits next to the seafood. The Indian cuisine section has basmati rice, mixed dal, alu bangan, as well as lamb kofta. Wow, so much variety. Yes. Now this section is called Western Favorites. Those thick slices of tuna look like serious business. And so does this US prime ribeye. Pork loin with caramelized onion. Yorkshire pudding with red wine sauce. Seafood crackers, twister fries, potato wedges. We segue to the drinks. Guava, mango, apple juice, as well as orange juice. Look at the gradient on that one. This Wedding. container looks like a bubble wrap. Wine is also available. The noodle station provides seafood soup, bulalo, a Filipino beef soup, and potato soup. Laksa. We have laksa here? Hi, and yo! <laughs> Folded cold cuts, a takoyaki station. Nice, a layered display of Russian cocktail salad, chicken pate, and salmon roulade. Cheese and dried fruit. And what? Another area dedicated to dessert. Cream puffs. Choco cookies, so basic, yet so good. What a unique cake! The top layer is translucent and berries are encapsulated. I wish I was a fairy so I can lounge on this. Kaltaho, this Filipino dish is made of soft tofu, brown sugar syrup, and sago pearl. The pearls look like desaturated fish egg, but no, they're not fish egg. Guys, there's also caramel panna gota and lemon meringue tart. Oof, I bet you could get full just from eating the dessert here. Guarded by a smiling Buddha statue, this area serves all kinds of balls. Chicken balls, squid balls, mushroom balls, fish balls, you get the idea. Hainanese chicken encircled with slices of cucumber. And here we have lechong baboy and pork asado, pancit guisado. Welcome to the dim sum station where you can stuff yourself with dumplings made of pork, spinach, and seafood. Looks so soft and inviting, like a memory foam mattress. Ooh, those bottles of pickled goodies are aesthetic. Pasta! Ingredient choices include mushroom and zucchini. Why is it that every time I look at these blue lights, I think about aliens and spaceships? My camera is drunk. It refuses to focus. This is what the world looks like when I don't wear my glasses. Ah, now that's more like it. Once upon a time, there were many rolls of sushi here. Then the chef began to refill. The drizzle of sauce on the top reminds me of a banana slug. Whoa! You know the temperature difference? It's making my lens fog up right now. I tried to get items that are more Filipino. Also had to get some vegetables. What did you get? There's like I don't know. It's a mix of everything. I just do one <laughs> bite everything. This is the first meal of the day for us. Oh, you had breakfast while I was sleeping. I slept late last night. I like to start off the day with vegetables. The vegetables taste buttery, which means it tastes good. I think this was called the kare kare, if I remember correctly. There's a lot of bone in that one. I took one of the last pieces. Mmm, ooh, that's a good flavor. Savory, just a teaspoon sweet. 
Oh, the meat on that is soft. It is very friendly texture. I taste some peanut in that. Maybe it's peanut sauce. Look at our sesame seeds on that. Very glazed. Yo, did you hear that crunch? Replay! That's like an egg roll, but a dessert egg roll. Some dessert you eat in candy, it tastes like a light, playful sweetness. This sweetness tastes a little bit darker. It's a moody sweet. It reminds me of toffee. This skewer of fried bread looks seductive and even more tempting when you roll it in circles. It's a sticky rice. It looks a bit like chapsar duck. Mm -hmm. Right. Outside, it's kind of uh, cushiony. Not nearly as sweet as the previous dessert we had. Let's find out what this guy's all about. I think it's ube. Something dark purple in that. There's gotta be some peanut on that. This tastes familiar. It's a little bit more thicker than a mashed potato. So golden and so textured. Hey, it kind of reminds me of a chicken nugget. Oh, this is it's very soft to pick up. It's a little bit fleshy because when you pick it up, your fingers sink into the body. Very oily. I thought this was going to be very sweet, but it's not. Now the outside, some parts of it, it has a sugar coating, so it's a little bit crunchy, but most of it is um, chewy. Now this one, I think it was a rice cake and I put some coconut shavings on it as well as some brown sugar. Mmm, also hail. Something toasty in that. Texture is delicate, the flavor is delicate. It tastes like rice pudding. Yeah. The interior has little holes. Looks spongy. Hello. We just got our special laksa. Ooh, the smell is permeating the air. The last time we had laksa together, I think it might have been in Singapore. Singapore. Like what, five years ago? Maybe before. Oh yeah. It's nice one. You will like this one. There's a place in Singapore called the Laksa War Zone. <laughs> and all the laksa we had tasted different. One of them was like spicy, another one was sweet. I, but I don't remember if all of them were sweet. We have noodles in that, some shrimp. Mmm. Oh, that is so likable. You get the seaweed flavor in that, and it's not sweet. Savory. We like our food savory, our meals. Dessert, we like sweet. Oh, what's this over here? A halved fish cake. This is the best laksa I ever had. I can eat it every day. Everything is based on your preference, and your taste buds can change over time. And also, your taste buds are affected by what you eat before. Because if you eat something oily, it could cover your tongue, and you can feel less, right? But if you eat something on a clean tongue, right after you brush your teeth, it's a different. Something could taste is different. But for us personally, we enjoy the laksa here. Being out here in the heat and humidity, <laughs> our phones, our iPad, and camera is getting hot so fast. I'm sweating now. Yeah, you're sweating. I'm sweating. We're all sweating. I think even the suit might be sweating, and your iPad is sweating. Leon is also sweating. <laughs> This looks like an onion ring, but it's a squid. I feel like I'm melting. This weather is making me feel soft and jelly-like. It's like these noodles. There are also pieces of fish in this. Round two for mommy. Oh, red. Gasp! It's the cake that inspired me to become a fairy. Yeah, this one. That jelly-like part just melts real fast in your mouth like a stick of butter. It has many layers. Chocolate layer, strawberry layer, and velvet cake. Mommyo wrestles a bit with a Yorkshire pudding. Yum! I bet you like it because you like bread. <laughs> it is like um, overcooked brioche. So oily. It completes my lunch. <laughs> When I used to come to buffets as a kid, I used to fill up my plates, just stuff myself as much as I can. 
But these days, I really believe in moderation, even with food, as much as possible. Sometimes, like, you know, with like Thanksgiving and Christmas, you still can overeat easily because there's like so much holiday feasting. For the buffet videos these days, I just want to show you guys what there is and what you can try. I was debating on getting seconds, but I'm getting quite full. We ate a lot yesterday. I think my body's still digesting and processing all that. We filmed three food videos yesterday. Whoa. I did save room for Hollow Hollow. Hello, hello to Hollow Hollow. One of the beauties of this dessert is the radiating colors. It's a rainbow, layers of all kinds of ingredients, including leche flan and ube ice cream. Melting. Wow, look at the drip on the sides. Wow. All oh, that ube ice cream is gonna be so good. Wow. Whoa, what a mess. We could each have one, but we decided to share one. Try not to waste food. Let's try the flan. That's like a silky tofu texture, but slightly more firm than like the softest tofu. It has more structure than like a sundubu. Look, look at that O. How are we gonna get down there? We just have to work from top to bottom. What is it? Something very chewy. Oh, it's roasted rice, those little bits. It tastes kind of like a cereal. It's a little gritty and crunchy. Like, you know, when you eat uh, strawberry seeds, it makes that popping sound. This also has something that has a popping sound. Look at the weather is warm. The ice cream has lost a lot of its integrity. <laughs> ice cream is sweating. <laughs> the ice cream is sweating, yes. Oh, look at there's beans in the middle. And white beans, red beans. Can we fish that out? Yes, we can. That? Chickpea. There's kernels of corn in that. Green. Does it have a certain flavor? It is sweet. Uh, it's like a muscular jello. It looks like jello, but it uh, is very uh, dense. <gasps> There's shreds of coconut in that. My memory card got completely filled up, so I'm switching over to my phone. Mm. I love fishing out all these goodies. Oh yeah. Mmm. Wakas! Remember to subscribe and hit that notification bell. For food and travel in Korea, check out my other channel, Sweet and Tasty TV. To relax at night, listen to ASMR Bedtime with Miss Mina. We read, crunch, crinkle, and more. In the sunset's cold. Toodles, my noodles. Green tea. Do they have herbal tea? I don't really drink green tea anymore. But I think with this meal, we have some oily food. Definitely need to have some hot tea with it. Help with digestion. Yeah, you can easily take two or more showers here a day. <laughs> if we were on like a vacation vacation, we'd be eating inside if this was not a vlogging vacation. Because we are filming everything, we need the good lighting. So we are out here dining and sweating it out. I feel like a dim sum in a big basket. Big steamy basket.